So good day everyone, I am Rita Sanibong de Vega and I am here to demonstrate my very own design instructional materials that I believe that is effective in teaching mathematics in elementary level and I also believe that it is effective also in different subjects. So let's begin. My topic for today is all about the attributes of an object. Um, in this lesson, I will teach the learners how to describe an object and sort an object by its color and, and shape. So, so my instruction materials are, I have here the attributes wall. So I call it attributes wall as I will put all the things that I need in teaching uh, the lesson or the topic describing the attributes of an object and I also have here the magic treasure which I believe I always believe that the treasure in teaching and learning process is the learning that the learners will gain um, after or will gain all throughout the teaching and learning process and magically uh, they will apply it in their day-to-day -day life and attributes of an object First, we will try to describe what is an attribute. So, an attribute is the characteristics or the traits of an object. So, the attributes of an object, there are many ways on how to describe it. So, first, we have here the measurement and the next, the color and shape. So, ayan, lahat nang yan sa measurement, sa color and shape, we can describe an object. So, we will now first tackle about the measurement. So, sa measurement, there are many or various ways on how to measure an object. So, we have here, in our magic box, we have here the length. Okay. We will paste the length here in our um, attributes wall and then we have also in measuring an object we have also height we measure it by height we measure an object by height and then the last one we measure it by weight by weight okay measurement is composed of three various ways on how to measure an object we have height length and weight the difference between these three are in height we measure an object from the distance of from the bottom up to the top so from the bottom up to the top pataas siya so always remember that in measuring height always remember that we measure it from the bottom up to the top pataas siya okay sa length naman paano natin i-measure ang ang isang bagay we measure it from side to side okay from side to side naman siya okay in order to identify how we are going to measure an object by its height and by its length Okay, in height we measure it. We said like a while ago that we measure it from the bottom up to the top to find out how how an object is tall or small. Okay. In measuring the height we find we find out kung pa kung paano um kung gaano kalaki o ka uh, liit ba ang isang bagay. Okay? Sa length naman, we measure from side to side, okay? Uh, to find, in order to find out whether an object is longer or shorter, kung gaano kalapad ang isang pagay. Sa weight naman, um, we can describe an object by, or the attributes of an object by measuring the weight by finding out how heavy, how heavy or light an object is. Okay, so in order to find out, or we I have here in our magic box, and like, what is this? 
a picture of a Christmas tree. Okay, we have two picture of Christmas trees. Are they the same kaya or hindi? Okay, we will try to find out or describe an, this object by measuring its height. Okay, sa height muna tayo. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> sa ang magic ruler, ang gagamitin natin to describe an object ay to measure the height of this object. Saan? Ito ba or ito? Ito, very good. We measure the height. We measure it from the bottom up to the top. Okay, very good. We measure it from the bottom up to the top. So, we were going to place it here. Okay, sa blue room na lang tayo mag-umpisa. Okay, so blue. Okay, at, at uh, uh, isusunod, na, uh, isusunod naman natin ito, object B. Oh. Imagine that this is the object A and the object object B. Okay. Di sa object na to, sa dalawang object natin, alin chaan ang mas malaki at alin chaan ang mas maliit. Okay. Paano natin kung maku makukuha yon, ma'am? Paano natin uh, i-describe kung alin chaan ang mas maliit at alin chaan ang mas malaki? Okay. So gagamitin natin tong magic ruler natin. Alin ja Okay, ito muna ang i-measure natin yung height niya. Okay? So, gagamitin, gagamitin natin itong magic ruler natin. Itong magic ruler natin, meron siyang different colors. Tapos, nag kung, kung ito yung gagamitin natin magic ruler, which is to find out or measuring the height of an object, nagpapat, uh, nakapatong yung mga blacks. So, imagine that this or all blacks na nagpapatong-patong they are they, they have different colors nagpapatong-patong at ito ang basehan or uh, ruler natin para ma-measure natin ang height ng object na ito okay we started here the black the blacks na color color blue so hanggang saan siya hanggang dito siya dito sa color orange so bibilangin natin yung blacks ng mga kulay kung gaano kalaki ito kung saan kung ilang blocks ba ang magpapatong-patong para mag uh, kasing kalaki nila magkakasi magkasing laki sila okay 1 2 3 4 5 hanggang orange siya kasi hanggang orange siya 6 so may 6 na blocks na nagpapatong-patong para ma maging uh, kasing laki nila itong object A to Christmas tree natin na object A. Six blocks. Okay? Remember that. And then next, susunod natin ito. Object B natin, Christmas tree din. So, hanggang saan siya? Hanggang dito. Dito sa yellow. Color yellow na blocks. Na, black natin. So, dito. Tapos, nag-start siya sa color blue. So, bibilangin rin natin kung ilang blocks ba ang nagpapatong-patong hanggang sa color yellow. Okay? One, two, three, four, Five. So, may five, five na blocks na nagpapatong-patong. Yun yung kasing laki nito. Okay? Five. Ito naman, six. So, um, alin na dyan sa object natin ang mas malaki or taller than the other one and which is the smaller than the other one. So, obviously, we have the object A as the taller one kasi may six na blocks siya na nagpapatong-patong. Yun yung kasing laki niya. So, mas malaki siya ng isang blocks kasi 5 lang ito. So, so, so ang mas malaki dito is yung, A, yung object natin na A. And then, mas maliit naman itong object natin na B. Okay, very good. Always remember that in height, we measure it from the bottom up to the top. Pataas siya. Okay? Ganun yung pag-measure natin ng height. So, sunod naman, itong length. How are we going to measure an object by its length? So, susunod, meron tayo dito sa ating measure, magic treasure na dalawang type ng transportation. We have school bus and we have also car. Okay, a car. How are we going to measure it by its length? Length naman tayo, ba? Sabi kanina, when we measure the length, we measure it from side to side. From side to side. Yung kalapad ng isang bagay. Okay? How long? 
or short an object is. Okay? So obviously in our example here, this school bus, we have a school bus and we have a car. Alin dyan ang mas mahabat, alin dyan naman ang mas um, short. Okay? Siyempre, kung i-measure natin yung car, obviously, ito yung mas short kesa yung ma kesa itong school bus natin. Kasi, hanggang dyan lang siya. Tapos, may bahagi pa ng school bus na hindi niya kasing haba. So, mas mahaba itong school bus kesa sa car natin. So, in describing its basic attributes, uh, we describe a type. Um, the school bus is longer than the car. Because it, the car is shorter than the school bus, okay? Always remember that in measuring the length, we measure it from side to side in order to find out how long or short an object is. And when we measure the height of an object, we measure it from bottom up to the top in order to find out how tall or small how tall or small an object is. So, uh, let's proceed in weight. How are we going to measure an object by its weight? Okay, when we describe an object, we describe it uh, so weight. We describe it if an object is heavy or light. Mabigat ba siya or magaan na siya? Ayan. That's the basic uh, description of in order to describe an object by the measurement of weight. Uh, simply just say if the object is heavy, kung mabigat talaga siya, syempre kung mabigat, uh, parang mga ngalay yung mga kamay mo, masakit, kumbaga. Tapos mag exert ka pa ng force, force mo para buhatin yung isang bagay. Tapos kung light lang, magaan lang, parang wala kang hinahawakan, kahit naman nandyan yung, yung object, Pero yung feeling na wala kang hinahawakan, yun yung feeling na or this, you can describe that object uh, na light or magaan lang siya. Ganun. So, um, we feel na yung half ng attributes wall natin. Uh, in describing the basic attributes of an object, we can describe it by its height, by its length, and by its weight. Okay? Always remember that in height, we measure it from bottom up to the top in order to find out how tall or small an object is. And when we measure the length, we measure it from side to side in order to find out how long or short an object is. And lastly, the weight. Okay? We describe the attributes of an object or we describe the objects by its measurement of weights by how heavy or light an object is. Okay, uh, let's proceed now here uh, at our half of our attributes wall in order to fill all the at these attributes walls para malaman natin kung ano ba yung mga basic na description kung paano natin i-describe ang isang bagay. Okay? From the measurement, we can also describe an object from its color and by its shape. So, kung ano yung kulay nila, kung ano yung hoops nila. How about in color and shape? How are we going to describe an attributes of an object by its color and shape? So, here, I have here the different objects from our magic treasure so we have here uh, the windows the plates and the balls the bowls so um, these three objects we can uh, sort them by its color and shape so how are we going to do um, first we will try to find out or describe an object by its color. Siyempre, yung color ang titignan natin. Ano ba ang kulay nito? Ano ba ang kulay, ni ang kulay ng windows? Um, plates and balls. 
So, lahat ng magkakakulay ay ilalagay natin pag sasamahin natin. So, sa ating attributes wall. So, what are we going to do? How are we going to do? So, uh, dito na lang tayo mag-start. Sa so first object natin, which is the window, uh, we will sort the color of all the objects, the three different objects by its colors. So, pag sasamahin natin, ano ba kukulay nito? Color yellow color blue, and color orange. So, may tatlo tayong kulay. At sa bawat object na narito sa ating attributes wall. So, we will sort them. Pagsasamahin natin kung sino-sino o anong mga bagay ang magkakakulay. Okay? So, sa yellow, dito natin ilalagay sa first room ng ating attributes wall. Tapos, dito blue. Ito na yung, basahan na lang natin yung blue dito sa unang object. Lahat ng color blue dito, in, sa lahat ng different objects natin na narito, ilalagay natin dito yung color blue. And then, the last one, we have here, the orange na kasi may yayala na tayo dun. So, lahat ng color orange dito, ilalagay. Okay? So, let's begin. So, sa yellow, dito sa ating plates, syempre, wala ng color yellow dito sa ating windows sa first object natin kasi meron na dito. So, so, pupunta na tayo dito sa second object natin, which is the plates. So, saan dito ang color yellow? So, which means, yung color yellow ay tatanggalin natin at ililipat natin dito sa first room. Kasi dito, sa first room, ilalagay dito ang color yellow. Next room, color blue. Next room, color orange. So, Yung yellow dito, ilalagay natin dito sa ating attributes wall, sa first room ng ating attributes wall. So, tatanggalin natin yung color blue para ilagay natin siya dito sa second room, which is lahat ng narito ay kulo, kulay azul or blue. Okay? Very good. And next one, dito sa ating, dito sa ating third room, ng mga room ng mga balls. Okay? Saan dito ang color yellow? Okay, very good. Ito ang color yellow. So, ilalagay natin ito. Oh, I'm sorry. Ito. Dito sa first room. So, alin na dyan ang tatanggalin natin? Siyempre, yung nag-iisang mag... Uh, um, ibang kulay dito sa ating first room. So, ilalagay natin dyan. And then, itong color orange na object natin ay ilalagay din natin dito sa room 3 which is lahat ng object ay kulay orange. Okay. So, saan, saan na lang na ito na lang yung um, yung mag, magpapalit para mapuo na natin yung by kulay. So, we sort the objects, the different objects by its colors. So, as you can see, we have here the color yellow, color blue, and color orange. So, lahat ng mga object, even they are different from each other, basta magkakakulay, ay mags, uh, pagsasamahin natin, isusort natin to describe an object. So, in describing an object, so, we have also sorting them by, oh, na, tapos na natin yung kulay. So, wapat, pupunta naman tayo sa shape. So, we will also try to sort an object object by its shape. Yung shape naman niya. Don't mind the color. Yung shape naman niya ang uh, imamind natin. Pagsasamahin natin kung ano-anong mga objects ang magkakashape. Yung objects na bilog, yung objects na square, at yung objects na um, na oval. Okay, we have three uh, different shapes also. Kung sa kanina sa color, may May color yellow tayo, blue, and then orange. Ngayon naman sa shape, if we will try to sort an object by its shape, meron din tayong square, oval, and circle. So, anong pinagkaiba ng circle at oval? Yung circle, mas bilog siya, round siya. Yung oval, mahaba yung, yung pag-round niya, okay? Oh, si you can see the difference na. Okay, we will try to sort an object by its shape naman. Okay, sa shape. So, dito. Oh, 
Dito sa first room natin, ito na lang yung one. Square. Lahat ng object na square, ilalagay natin dito. Naintindihan? At yung susunod naman na uh, room natin, ay itong oval. Oval. Mas pahaba yung pag-round niya. Okay, lahat ng oval na shape ay lalagay dito. Naintindihan? At yung last naman, lahat ng circle. Bilog. Bilog na shape ay lalagay dito. Okay? Um, how, how are we going to do? So, lahat, tignan na lang natin lahat ng magkakashape. So, asan ba dito ang square? Oh, so, ito ba? Ito ba? O oh, ito ba? Ito. Ito yung square. Very good. And then, next, the, the, yung last nating room, asan yung square dyan? Ito ba? No, it's a circle. Ito? No, it's a, an oval. Here, we have here this glass square. So, we will put this two objects in our first room. Sa room ng mga squares. So, tatanggalin natin yung oval. Asan, asan yung room ng oval? Yung susunod na, na room. Kaya ilalagay na natin yung room, yung oval na object here sa, sa second room. And then, ilalagay din natin yung square na na object natin. So, here, hindi naman sila magka-shape, magka ba? So, we will try Oh, ayan. Magka-shape na ba sila? Yes, because lahat sila ay square na. Ito naman, ilalagay natin dito sa shape ng circle, ng bilog. Oh, asan pa dyan ang hindi magka-shape? Sa room 2. Oh, um, imagine that this is an object A, B, C. Oh, sa A, B, C na yan. Alin dyan ang hindi um, or naiipa sa kanila. So, we have the, here the oval shape. We have here the circle shape and the oval shape na naman. And sa alin dyan ang hindi nila katulad. Okay, very good. Yung circle. So, ayan. Ito yung, itong circle ang tatanggalin natin at hanapin natin sa last room natin kung alin dyan ang hindi naman nila katulad. O, ba Circle to. Circle to. Ano to? Oval. Very good. So, yung oval ilalagay natin saan? Doon sa room niya. Room ng mga oval. Oval na object. Magkakashape. O, natingin niya magkakashape na ba sila? Okay, very good. We have here the square, the oval, and the circle. Very good. In describing an attributes, um, we can describe an object not only by its measurement, but also by its colors and shape. Okay, kung isasort natin, kung i-describe i natin ang object sa kulay nila. Okay, sa so kulay nila. Anong kulay ito? Kulay yellow, kulay orange, kulay blue. You can say, you, um, masasabi nyo yung mga kulay nila dahil, uh, dahil yun yung nakikita ninyo at iyon talaga yung kulay nila. Ganyan rin sa shape. So, at the end of my discussion, all the objects or things that I put here in our magic treasure will, will be put here in our attributes wall. We're in these instructional materials that I've designed, all of the objects or how are we going to describe an attributes will be uh, seen here in our instructional materials. So, I hope that um, you can also use it and utilize it in teaching and learning process of your future um, teaching. And I hope that uh, this is instructional materials will be effective in teaching uh, mathematics or even in other subjects.